Amendment. Obey your oath, officer. Obey you know, your oath. Israel, I don't know. Will you I'm get? Scared. Listen, uh, if I'm on the other arrest, get your hands off. Okay, then I will. Okay. Put your phone down. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for refusing to leave. Okay. For refusing to the wagon, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> It's happened again. David Menzies is being arrested again. He was at a vigil, a six-month memorial for the Hamas terrorist assault on Israel. The Jewish community was mourning the loss, and there were speeches against the terrorist group. And wouldn't you know it, some pro-Hamas hate marchers thought they would crash that event. It's, it would be like crashing a funeral. So gross, but these are despicable people. Our reporter, David Menzies, was there, and obviously he went to ask these Hamas hate marchers, what are you doing here? Peaceful journalism in the public interest, in a public space. But the police came in. David was assaulted by these Hamas hate marchers. You can see it clearly on the video. But the police didn't arrest the guys who hit and punched our guy. The police arrested David. Obey your oath, officer. Obey your oath. Will you get? Listen, if I'm on the other arrest, get your hands off. Okay, then I will. Put your phone down. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for refusing to leave. Okay. Refusing to the wagon, Mr. Mayor. Once again. You can have people turn genocide in the streets of our democracy. You're under arrest for refusing to leave premises. Okay, Mr. It's a public place. This is literally the public square. They handcuffed him, they put him in a truck, and they brought him here to 52 Division. I just went in, gave the information about our lawyer to the cops there. I spoke with the lawyer earlier. We're on the case. I don't know how long they're going to keep him. Obviously, it's a BS charge. You can hear the cops saying David is being charged with failure to leave the premises. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for refusing to leave, okay? Why the hell should David leave the premises? It was City Hall, the open complex outside City Hall. It was a public event. David was invited to be there. He was working as a journalist. These Hamas hate marchers who crashed the thing, they weren't told to leave by the cops, but the peaceful journalist was. That's not even a thing. And they arrested him and handcuffed him and put him in the paddy wagon, and he's here right now. It's completely BS, but they're probably going to hold him as long as they can as a form of punishment. They're going to put him in a filthy cell, take away everything, including his watch. You don't even know what time it is. You have nothing to read, nothing to do. They're going to hold him in solitary as long as they possibly can. Last time this happened, we were waiting outside the police station till after midnight. I hope that doesn't happen, but we will wait as long as it bloody well takes. And I got a word for the cops in there and the cops who were ordering the cops in there to do what they're doing. We will not let this go. Okay, now they've taken my phone and they've taken my hat. He's got your phone box. And yet you can chant genocide on this street and you can wear fake suicide masks. We are obviously going to fight any trumped up charges. What a laugh being arrested for not clearing the premises at a public event. We're obviously going to fight those. But when we win those, that's not the end. That's just the end of the beginning. And then we're going to go on the hunt. We're going to sue these cops, these two tier cops, these biased cops, these partisan cops. We're going to sue them not just for false arrest and false imprisonment and negligent investigation and the assault on David and needlessly handcuffing him and hurting him, but we're going to sue them for breaching our charter of rights and freedoms. I do not accept police in Canada arresting journalists for asking questions of Hamas thugs while those same Hamas thugs roam the streets for months terrorizing Jews. If you want to help me pay for the lawyer to get David Menzies out of jail and then go on the offense, go to standwithdavid.com. Standwithdavid.com. I will not let this rest, and you shouldn't either.